due to poor leadership in the past, poor family values, poor morals, all stemming from integration and being equal to or as someone who has never known civility. Because of this, we watched a trillion dollar industry slip right through our fingers. And that industry is rap music. Something that was created by us, something that was enjoyed by us, even until this day, it is still being enjoyed by us. But we once had the opportunity to actually control an industry under institutionalized white supremacy. And, but due to no fault of our own and due to that poor leadership I spoke of prior, ignorance, people who we have followed for a generation now, who never knew where they were going, who never cared about a destination, who only had the interests of institutionalized white supremacy and its furtherance at heart and mind. It is because of these individuals who have preached and taught our fathers and our mothers and their fathers and their mothers to go get a job, work and get a job, work for someone, work, work, Go out there and work. The only way you're going to be respected, the only way you're going to be someone is you work for someone. These individuals who programmed this into us and we handed it down from one generation to the next, this way of thinking, this way of believing, pushing us further away from the independence and self-reliance that we so desperately needed, pushing us further away from owning business, owning our own business, building our own empire. It is because of these individuals and these reasons why the rap industry slipped right through our fingers and why everyone, every Zionist, Zionist Jews, Zionist Christians, Zionist Muslims own a share of the rap industry globally. And we, we just settle for contracts, a few million dollars. Peace.